Hello and welcome to the Practical Animal Channel with me John Beaumont. Today I want to show you as part of a, a series I hope of short videos on falconry and falconry techniques. What you need to do if the Aylmeries, which are these here, can you zoom in if possible cameraman? The Aylmeries on your bird of prey are made up of two items. They're made up of the anklet and they're made up of the muse Jess. Ignore the carabiner, that's part of my system. Now, Aira here, my female Harris's hawk, Hedbog Harris in Welsh, Gavion as a detailer in Portuguese, where I lived in Brazil for 16 years. Ada has removed one of the Jesses that make up her Aylmery. So I have to replace it with a new Jess, which I've, which I actually made in the previous video, which was today, this morning. So what I have to do, note that I've shielded Aira's head. That has the same effect as hooding the hawk. Hawks live in a visual world. When you hood them, they go calm. I can still feel her heartbeat, but the vet in me tells me that that's because she's a bird and birds have a very high metabolic rate. These Jesses are Muse Jesses. They're different from the other type of Jess, which is a flying or hunting Jess. They have a hole in them there, a slit. Of course, in several months time, May, June, July, August, September, in four months time, she'll have finished her molt. Cameraman, if you want to zoom in here, you can see her feathers growing. Her tail feathers, her deck feathers are growing. I suppose in this video, I'm assuming some knowledge of falconry. You would never fly a bird of prey using muse jesses with the hole in. You would never do that. You would always fly them with hunting jesses, which do not have a slit. So here we are, She's, she had fresh Muse Jesses put in this morning. They were white. These incidentally are the old Jesses that I removed this morning. Now Ada doesn't play with her brown Muse Jesses. Leather comes in various colors. Most falconers use brown, with good reason. I like to use white sometimes, but sometimes Ada, rather annoyingly, destroys them like she did this morning so there was nothing else for it i had to cast her again casting means to pick her up and hold her which is what i'm doing now i could do it lying down with a lying down in dorsal semi-dorsal recumbency as vets say which is what she is now she's lying on her belly or you can have an assistant you can hood the bird. Either way, if you shield her head, the effect is going to be the same. I've removed the leash because I need space to work. I'm removing now the swivel. Cameraman, if you want to zoom in on this swivel, I shall show it to the camera now. That's the swivel for a medium-sized bird of prey. Swivel for a medium-sized bird of prey. She's got one Muse Jess in. She's got a, the Muse Jess that I want to change is also in the other Aylmery, the other anklet. Here's the Muse Jess that is complete. That goes in to the anklet, like so. Can you zoom in here, cameraman, if you're not already?
goes in through the other eyelet. This Jess is covered in leather dressing, making it very easy to pull through. The reason why we don't fly birds in the UK from approximately February through to August is because they're in molt, conforming to the natural scheme of things. Both Jesses are now into the anklets. They're rather shorter than I would like, but I'm pretty certain they'll do the job. Time will tell. The next half hour will probably tell. In which case I'll have to cast her again and put on the right sized Jesse. However, experience has taught me that I have a feeling these are the right size Jesses. Falconry is a very precise thing. Here I am now trying to. Here I'm now putting the swivel through the Jess. The hog is still calm because her head is covered. The hog is still calm because her head is covered, just like as though she was hooded. That's one. Jess on. And I do the same with the other Jess. In through the swivel, out over the other top, over the top of the swivel, and on to the swivel. And now Having pulled both Muse Jesses securely onto the swivel. Hope you can see that. Okay. Both Muse Jesses on the swivel. The leash goes through the hole in the swivel. I'm going to put on Falconer's glove. I tie the leash onto the Falconer's glove with the one handed Falconer's knot. When everything's ready, all the objects are out of her way, and I'm absolutely ready for her. She's now alert and very ready to be finished with the whole process. I grab the swivel. And there she is. Because I've handled her a thousand times, I'm going to undo the falconer's knot. No, not. I'm going to. It's just too awkward. So I'm going to retire back onto my fist. So she's now secure. I'm going to tie her back onto a tether, onto a block outside. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please click like and share it with your friends and followers and colleagues and for more exclusive content on animal management birds of prey nature wildlife and the animal industry please subscribe to my channel i dedicate this video to the british nhs thank you very much